drive wherever, whenever, and whatever we want. That's the American way. But there's mounting proof that our love affair with the car threatens our national security and the health of our planet. Common sense would dictate that we demand alternatives and consider new possibilities like cars that run not just on gasoline, but on water. Tonight in Project Energy, David Schechter says we have the technology, we just need the help to use less oil. Now what we need is a plan. Everyone who knows the inventor inside this garage says he's a genius. He's redesigned a jet engine for the Air Force, saved a nuclear reactor from melting down, and now Steve Myers is developing a car engine that could reduce America's dependence on foreign oil and cut global warming. This has a future. We've only started. His home videos show years of effort, but now Steve believes he's got it. What our technology does is reduce the consumption of gasoline. With water. Steve's process modifies tap water into a powerful fuel, which he says can improve fuel efficiency and reduce exhaust. It's environmentally the right choice. It might be a long shot, but something's got to be done. The world consumes an Olympic-sized swimming pool full of oil every 15 seconds. That's nearly 250 times in an hour. And most of it is used for transportation. America represents 4% of the world's population, but we use about a quarter of the world's oil, much of it for driving people and products where they need to go. In this country, transportation accounts for almost 70% of all the oil we use. You win the energy war by addressing transportation. Matt Simmons leads the world's largest energy investment bank based in Houston. It's the single most important issue facing the world over the, over the next 50 years. So what can we do about it? We've got to get deadly serious about fuel efficiency. Randy Udall spoke to Don Shelby. Udall is a leading advocate for renewable energy and efficiency based in Aspen, Colorado. He says we can improve our gas mileage by using the technology we have today.